The segue into where we're going to be jumping into here. So um, just to kind of stay with the continuity of the content on the channel here. Um, so basically, this is like a sandbox, almost like simulation of what, how I would want my roster constructed when it comes to, you know, if I were to manage or book a WWE roster. Right now, we find ourselves in the we're in we're the month of October in in my current universe one, which is kind of funny because I'm in October right now uh, and we are at the end of the month for October. So this is our premium live event. Basically, you have two shows. Or I have three shows every week that we simulate through. We book matches. Um, uh, each match has basically a precedent has well, each match that does take place kind of um, affects how the overall storyline goes when it comes to wrestlers or superstars having uh, storylines going into each premium live event. The premium live event basically is like a cap off, like a bookend to what feud is going on, or you can either end it or continue it depending on how serious um, the the intensity of the rivalry is. Uh, when it comes to how everything is structured here, when I initially picked up 2K23, I was under the impression that you were going to have some freedom because there, you were going to have more freedom with the rivalry system because you can definitely path out and manipulate it to the point where you can trigger a cutscene before where you had no clue what cutscene you were going to be getting in previous versions of this game. So I figured it was going to be a lot more free and liberal and open, open to that. There are still some limitations. So for me, I think in between the last couple months of sessions, I've just gotten really nutty and come up with some weird shit on my own to kind of push the storytelling aspect of doing this here. Kind of similar, like, you know, how wrestling does play out here. If you guys do follow wrestling. Hey, would you like to hear God? What would you like to hear God say when you arrive at the Pearl Gate? Yes, Mo. What's up, Mo? Shout out, Mo. So what would I like God to say? Uh, I would like for him to say, I love it when you call me big pop, but I'm just kidding. What's up, Mo? How's it, how's it going? Man? How's it going? No, I would think that I would want him to say. You're worried for nothing. Like you worried for nothing. You did a good job. But what up, Mo? Shout out, Mo. Mo Chocolate Nine K, one of the recent homies that I've been following here. Just mentioned the, <laughs> the, shit. Trying to think the subathon that he had, which was getting was hella fun to be a part of here. And if again follow Mo on all platforms: TikTok, YouTube, Twitch. Again, same same username here. Mo Chocolate Nine K. Pretty chill, homie. Pretty chill, homie. Really goaded at Dragon Ball Fighters is War 2 here. I mean, motherfucker just handed me my completely handed me my ass here. <laughs> of course, of course. But where was I? I here's, here's what I have to do. I have to like make sure that my ADD brain doesn't go on nine different tangents. Guess I'm all kind of wonder. Listen, the goal for that Mo is I want at 30 minutes a piece if we can knock it out in 30 minutes like it'd be wonder if i could just get 30 minutes a piece where you and i could just sit down and have a conversation and shoot the shit like definitely do it i can't guarantee 30 minutes <laughs> but but i'm gonna shoot for 30 minutes 30 minutes there damn it's an hour that that's gonna be hard stretch i can give you like 42 minutes if I give them the nighttime gummies, maybe like two hours before, I could probably get like maybe 45 minutes. Like an hour is tough, bro. Shit, five minutes is tough. <laughs> it really is tough, but I get you, man. I appreciate that. But shit, okay, ADD brain, tangent. We, we got we got schedule to go on here because your boy's hella tight for time here as always. Um, But yeah, so where we find ourselves at 42 minutes, <laughs> Listen, we'll extend it out. We'll we'll extend that shit out here. 
Um, but to back to the 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 the, the, the 2k23 content here um so basically we are finding ourselves at a premium lab event uh so basically it's the, basically the book end for each month uh depending on um, how many shows you have running throughout the month um, this no normally ple's are very themed or pay-per-views are very themed so this theme for this particular premium live event is hell in a cell basically you're locked in a cage and you beat the hell out of each other and you know uh, whoever wins wins and basically you settle your dispute through that um the actual hell in a cell matches in irl can be a bit gruesome again if you're at work or on a work computer here i mean google at home google on your phone don't google on the work computer just there's always that one infamous scene and it's the one that i default to the most like i always associate triple h and undertaker with hell in a cell because i feel like because i feel like triple h has done so many when it comes to undertaker <laughs> um undertaker literally threw a human being off the fucking cell and this what I, I i i feel like there's different iterations of the story of how it's told by the people involved because i feel like and maybe jeff maybe maybe you can you know chime in here <laughs> but like I feel like that was a spot that like Foley was like, hey, like, yeah, like throw me off the cage. And and Mark was like, I don't know if I should do this. <laughs> and then he got thrown off the cage. He got thrown off the cage. Almost. I think he was like not literally knocked out and every, like everyone's reaction to it was live. Oh, boy. Hi. Like every everyone's reaction was live to it. But yeah, I'm okay. He wanted to top the first. It was planned, but it was more dangerous than they... yeah. Yeah, do go like either Google the clip, and I feel like maybe Googling the sound like the interview is what too. It's it's ugh like to watch an actual human being no no he literally lost i think his tooth went up into his fucking head like it was he there's a spot there's a there's a specific shot of him where after everything is done like he he got the shit beat out of him and he looks up and he just smiles and like you just see his mouth is bloody his tooth is like gone and it's like oh my god it's just please google in your free time like please google in your free time here but <laughs> he did finish the match and then he went he he got thrown off he got thrown off the cage into the table and then they did the spot again um he did this they went back up to do another spot on top of the cell because it's the cage is closed off it's not like it's open but it's topped off so he went back up again and I think it's this I think it's the spot where he gets choke slammed through the chain link and he falls another like fucking like what 15 feet from the he like he goes through the chain link. I'm I'm pretty sure that chain link saved his life from being paralyzed because if he was it's been another straight shot, I think he would have fucking died. Like it's it's very gruesome. Just the spots that were in that match are very gruesome. I'm not too sure if I, like, I have a sensitivity to it now when it comes to wrestling. <laughs> but we're going to queue up the first match here. But yeah, so that's ba so basically Hell in the Cell is very gruesome. You get to beat the hell out of you fucking each other here. Not every match is going to be contested in Hell in a Cell. So it's not going to be that hokey. There are going to be some there. The, but the overall theme of this pay-per-view when it comes <laughs> to TwitchCon shit. Listen, nobody told her ass to jump in that ball pit. 
No, nearly nobody like i don't feel bad <laughs> like for her that specific person i don't feel bad like i don't feel bad like you need to have at least some brain cells with all that lip shit that you injected in your fucking body liposuction silicone like some sort of brain cell to say hey you know what maybe should, i should maybe look in first before i just go head first <laughs> Oh, oh, Mo, you remember the 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 adult actress that I like, end up breaking her spine, like injuring her tailbone or some shit at TwitchCon in some ball pit? It was like a whole story. It literally looks like a whole story. <laughs> but <laughs> but um, what happened? But yeah, so but basically every theme is going to be very aggressive, very hardcore theme on top of doing the hell in a cell match uh we have two hell in a cell matches for this card it is a 12 match card uh one of them featuring cody rhodes and carrying cross for the intercontinental championship and then our main event uh as jeff and i like to fucking tweet each other you know it is big meaty men bumping meat it is big e <laughs> in our main event going up against Monty Brown or Marcus Corvon or whatever his alias is that I use him in this game for the uh, World Heavyweight Championship here. So, um, but we're gonna start our first match off here, which is gonna open the match here. It is our triple threat match for the United States Heavyweight Championship. It is featuring Perk Angle uh, or Kurt Angle, uh, Mr. Black Snow, Booker T, and Hiroshi Tanahashi. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna jump right in. And this is going to be weird with no music. Like, this is going to be. Here comes the two time, two time Hall of Famer. The following contest is a triple three match. And it's for the WWE United States Championship. There you go. Okay. But yeah. Introducing the challenger. Yeah, it, it was like a thing for like maybe like three weeks, but I laughed at the stupidity of it because I'm just like, oh. <laughs> like you know had it been in like an actual like normal streamer that would have done something like done something stupid like that i guess it would have it would have made some more noise but the fact that like it was that actress it was an actress in that industry and the stigma that twitch gets because of like the content that's constantly on the the home page like you're like really like you have this caliber of a streamer here. I'm not discrediting her as a content creator at all. I'm just, I just think it's hilarious. I think if it was like a normal Joe Schmo here like us, comes. no one would fucking bat an eyelash. And introducing the challenger from Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 230 pounds. This is a big time opportunity. I got a nice head of hair. We'll be on the line here. You're right, Michael. And judging from the response on social media heading into this match, we're likely to see a new champ crowned here tonight. But Mo, how have you been? What are you getting up to here? Same with you. Uncle Jay, what are, you, what are you guys getting into today? And thank you again for stopping and by and you hanging out with your boy. I appreciate it. With us. And I can see that Saxton got dressed up for the occasion. I didn't realize they made nerd costumes. So please disregard the the Miss Masses. I I need a bottle. <laughs> Oh gosh, she is a diva like me. And again, she's going to be turning three in a couple of days anyway. Yeah. This is also what's going to eat up most of our time is all these fucking introductions. I'm not going to lie, but because it's a, it's a triple threat or a three way, you're not going to get actual like full on championship introductions. So a lot of the single one on one matches, you're going to get that perk angle. This feels so awkward and weird. Do, 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 okay, well, I get well, I get DMC if I actually like do 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 
So that that is the man that like where's Rock? He listen. He was in here earlier. He was in here earlier. Maybe when we get closer to like WrestleMania season. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So this this version of universe mode that I'm running here is like uh it's basically because you know of the creative creation here and you know all the sandbox features that comes with 2K23 here. I have a fuck ton of promotions here. So a lot of the major promotions here like WWE, uh All Elite Wrestling, which is AEW, uh Ring of Honor, New Japan, NXT. I operate NXT as its own like brand as well too here. So it's basically a hodgepodge of black everybody. Oh, look at that. Look at that shiny championship. Shiny. For, for, the, for the U.S. champ. <clears throat> I'm also running no hub. So this is going to be fucking fun. This is going to be hella fun. hella fun. I am the champ. Mr. Kurt Angle. The WWE United oh, States this. title is on the line. A title with so much history. Oh, the winner almost becomes the defender that. of the red, white, and blue. Oh, that is unless they choose to use the title to insult Americans. Let them, uh, let them beat each other. The title holder's freedom to do so, Saxton. And what's he looking for here? We just, we just, Clearly thinking a steel chair. Oh, we just, we just out here, now. just and regulating. Drop that down. We're gonna get this ready because it's gonna be some chaos. Just don't, don't throw him out. Watch it. Watch it. Okay, I made a mistake. Listen, I don't want to talk about the Mummy Returns CGI because that was horrible ass CGI. That, that movie. Okay. Nice. Like, that CGI was bad. Okay. Oh, nice. Nice drop it. Rock Lobster. No. Oh, that was horrible. That's some bad CGI. You always got to keep your head on a swivel. Always got to know when to pick your spot. Even if you form an alliance, it won't last. That's just the nature of the game. Oh, man. Leg drop arm breaker. Okay, we're going to throw you out real quick. Oh, maybe. All the way up. Sure as hell did right there. The challenger eating up some damage. Oh, nice poison. Close line with the left arm. Nailed it. Quick return to the ring. Atomic oh, drop. drop. This is so weird because, like, you, with no HUD, I don't know what who what has what damage they're at. Oh, wow. I, guess, I just got double teamed. Okay. Okay. Up the chest and now straight to the knee being hobbled like that. Yeah, something to keep an eye on. Oh, mm -hmm. super kick, a double super kick. How'd you get kicked out the ring and then automatically get taunted? I, I don't, yeah, okay, you're out of here. Thank you. So what are we doing? CPU is doing weird things. Okay. At least it was not me. In my mind, I thought that was going to work. And I'm, yeah, in my mind, I thought that was going to work for some weird ass reason. Yeah, because I'm just, y'all fight. Y'all do y'all thing. Yeah. Um, I we're gonna try this again here. He climbs into the ring. Big overhand. Okay. He gets out of the way. Going counter for counter. Now Oop. can it be capitalized? What can I do here? Nice. Okay. 
Nikita Kurtz locked in. Oh, this one's over. Tap up. Come on, the challenger. <laughs> no, I'm going to say, well, how did I get them there? Hold on. That's teamwork. Nicely done. That was, uh, that was a signature. So somebody has finished finisher now. German suplex, and it was not done. Not done at all. Another German suplex. All right, hurry back, man. Nice. He's still holding on. Booker diagnosing his target. What are we doing here? Uh-oh, look at that. Elson applies. You're not going to steal his move, huh? What ingenuity from the challenger. Oh, it's coming here. What are we doing here? Real break. Oh, oh, oh no. Uh, resiliency. I was going to say, he did use resiliency, right? Book. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Okay. Please don't hurt me. Please be easy. Okay, okay, I get it. I'm sorry. Please calm down. Please calm down. What we've done. <laughs> He's the 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 corner he goes, a perfectly placed target tossed by the neck. Oh shit, I was trying to do multitask and like nice. Oh look at this. Set him up in for the DDT. Nice. Okay. I'm looking. Okay, don't look at me. I'm not the one in the ring. Guys can't do it from right there, bookend. <laughs> no, sir. You're not gonna get a pin here. Oh, you're taking this German. There we go. Yeah, come on. No, there's no German there, buddy. We're gonna try this again here. You getting up? Ready, 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 ready. Park angle. Got him. Yes. That is the attitude of a daredevil. The ability to take risk with minimal trouble. Oh, hit me, please. No fear. Oh, I got him. I mean, we're not going to win the match this way. But we're going to let them feel pain. I gotta grab you. This collision. This, okay. Anyway, make him feel the pain. Make him feel the pain. There you go. You take a nap. And you eat these again. And he gets up right again. Awesome. Thing book reminds me Wade Barrett is never allowed to hide. <laughs> Listen, I'm glad. I'm glad Booker has this thing with hyping. What the hell? Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Please be easy. Please be easy. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. And Booker T getting worked on right now. Can Booker withstand this surge against him? Come on, come on, come on. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Kurt Angle avoids that one. Nope. Everyone is on their feet. You get in the corner. Absolutely showing the respect for all the exertion these athletes are putting each other through. Get up here. Come on. 
Man said Shimon. <laughs> Fucking love Booker, man. Oh, nice. I'm confused on why you picked him up and then went right after me after you picked him up. Who's making them sense? Oh, wow. Nice. Nice. Please be gentle. Please be gentle. Nice. That's fine. That's fine. You believe this? I love it. Headlock. Headlock. Kokita Crouch locked in. There it is. There. What? That is such a booger thing thing to do here. Like, hello. Like, you had one job and was to help him not have me beat him. And you fucking did a spin a Rooney. Sure. AI logic. AI logic. German. I will say the AI has gotten a lot better in years. I, I will say in years, there are moments like this. We're depending on, you know, how the sliders are set for each different attribute and characteristics for each superstar. Like, they'll just randomly do shit like that. I will say, and this is something that I have noticed, and this is, it's improved, like, tag matches and multi-man matches. It's like, whatever is built in the AI is the fact that, like, um, is the fact that like the CPU is conditioned to fight, so it's not doing this thing where hey, it's like um, I'm just gonna sit sit around and not do nothing or sit around and like pull weapons out. Like it's it's overall goal and function is to hey, I'm gonna fight. I'm just gonna fight, and how I do this, um, whether I fight everybody at the detriment of my own, you know, AI, whatever. It's but it's gonna fight. Like that's the overall goal for it. 